here in this video we are going to see the definition and concept of poisson's ratio let us get started poisson's ratio first i'll write the definition here that when a material is loaded within elastic limit then the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain remains constant and is called as poisson's ratio so here i have written the definition of poisson's ratio that if we have a material and when it is loaded within elastic limit then the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain remains constant and that ratio is called as poisson's ratio next poisson's ratio is denoted by mu or it is denoted by 1 upon m these are the notations for poisson's ratio next i can write the formula mathematically poisson's ratio mu that will be equal to since it is the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain lateral strain to linear strain lateral strain would be denoted by e suffix l linear strain is denoted by e now its value ranges from 0.1 to 0.5 poisson's ratio lies in this range now by looking at the value since it is less than 1 we can say that if poisson's ratio is less than 1 it means that lateral strain will be less than linear strain so here i can write down therefore lateral strain will be less than linear strain and here i can explain the concept of poisson's ratio with the help of a diagram in which we have a rod having diameter d and its length would be l so here we have a rod whose diameter is denoted by d and whose length is l now over this rod if we are applying pull type of load on both the sides because of the action of this pull type of load the length of the bar will go on decreasing and its diameter will it length will go on increasing instead of decreasing the length will increase but diameter will go on decreasing so here i can explain this by drawing a diagram inside this rod so 
this would be the diagram of the bar when it is subjected to pull it will get deformed length will increase diameter will decrease so this increase in length is called as linear strain why it is called as linear strain because the load is parallel to length whenever the load is parallel to length that becomes linear strain and lateral strain is perpendicular to linear strain so here as we see along the length the length goes on increasing but diameter decreases so length and diameter they are perpendicular to each other so here i can say that therefore linear strain will be positive because of increase in length and lateral strain will be negative because of decrease in diameter so since linear strain is positive lateral strain is negative so therefore poisson's ratio mu will be equal to minus e suffix l upon e that is lateral strain is negative linear strain positive so mu poisson's ratio is equal to negative of lateral strain upon linear strain now suppose if i change the direction of the load over this bar which is having the same diameter in length now for this bar if instead of pull type of load here we have push type of load having value p then because of this now the length will go on decreasing and diameter will go on increasing so the diagram would be somehow like this so when it is a push kind of load the length decreases diameter increases so in this case lateral strain will become positive linear strain will be negative so for this case lateral strain is positive and linear strain is negative so here we have seen in this video the definition of poisson's ratio what is the meaning of poisson's ratio and from that we have seen another term called as lateral strain